The Autistic Voices Project, led by CASDA, was conducted in partnership with Inclusion Canada, funded under the Employment Recovery Project. The Autistic Voices Project was prompted by the need to better understand the impact of COVID-19 on employment experiences amongst Autistic Canadians, specifically unique challenges faced and opportunities that may have emerged. The purpose of the Autistic Voices Project is to bring the experiences of Autistic Canadians to the forefront and highlight the criticality of their employment-related experiences during COVID-19 through our lived experience testimonial videos. We hope that the experiences of Autistic Canadians presented to you in the following videos will be impactful and thought-provoking. Additionally, as a disclaimer, we'd like to recognize that while we did try to obtain a diverse range of responses and participants in our project, there are other diverse voices who should be considered, including those of varying racial and cultural backgrounds and those who are nonverbal. While we weren't fully able to capture this, their opinions are still salient and should be considered moving forward. We know that the COVID-19 pandemic has altered drastically life for everyone. However, we hope that these lived experience testimonial videos will shed light upon the intensified difficulties faced by Autistic Canadians and what we can do moving forward to create autism confident workplaces in a world beyond COVID-19. If I'm having a day where, for example, taking public transit to my office seems overwhelming, if what I'm doing can be done from home, that would be really excellent. The advantage of being at home is that you have everything you might need. You know, you want a snack, you want something to drink, or getting a headache, so you need to go take some headache medication. Whatever you need, it's right there. When you work from home, you're more comfortable, I guess, because you're in your home. That feeling, you know, going to a new place is kind of like a little bit nervous, but staying at home is a little bit more comfortable experience for some people. This is the first time that I've seen a lot of public support for just the the stressful um experience that that is COVID and particularly for people like looking for work or struggling to work to the same levels of, of productivity that they had before the pandemic and it's it's been really helpful to see that because it's helped me give myself permission when I need to to kind of take time and step back and you know it doesn't matter if you only apply to two jobs today instead of 10 or you know like it's it's the quality and, and all of that sort of stuff. I think it's a little easier. Last month, I had gotten a job through Employment Works for um, teaching Minecraft to teenagers. So I was employed by them for a few weeks part-time. And then the restrictions became stricter. So the interviews that I've been on in the past two months, I guess, they've been over Zoom. I've had a had a much easier time speaking. The benefits, I guess, are being able to learn more tasks. Like I'm learning how to work on the cash register and that I'm able to learn that in a slower environment when it's not as busy. In terms of benefits of working in person, it's still good to get to talk to people. Uh, I know it's tough uh, for a lot of people because they can't uh, physically meet with other people. One benefit is that I have a more better time walking to work instead of just arriving there because uh, having to arrive there at a certain time instead of arriving anytime I want, uh, it like, gives me an opportunity to exercise and uh, walk to work instead of just uh, arriving there and going in. There's uh, different organizations that are offering virtual activities from home. So like bingo, different uh, music. 
video games, talking about sports. Alors moi, j'ai été contactée même par une agence pour peut-être faire du coaching. Euh, on dit que ça prend des autistes pour aider des autistes aussi. Euh, et il y a une grosse différence entre l'autisme féminin et l'autisme masculin. Je ne sais pas si vous êtes conscient et, et au fait de ça. Mais euh, nous, les femmes, on est bonnes en comportement humain, on est très sociales, on est très... Alors, on a beaucoup de compétences, mais on est invisible. I don't have to worry about being on time as much because I can just go on my computer rather than traveling. It's a bit less stressful because I'm in a safe environment in my own house. So I know that I am in a safe space. The immediate benefits is not having to necessarily dress up for work. Working from home has also meant, I think, a lot of the time being able to stay out of a lot of the hot zones of COVID-19. It also has meant, I think, a little bit more flexibility in terms of spacing out time. I don't have any kids. I'm not a parent, but I do feel for other co-workers and also bosses that I do have in my current work who do have kids, being able to have a little bit of flexibility in terms of maybe if you need to wake up a little bit later in the morning before doing a full hour day, you could do that. Or if you could do it even later and get it done earlier, you can do that. So that's some of the immediate benefits. It's not really having anywhere to go to. It's really been, it's really been an opportunity to, you know, focus on yourself. There's no one else but you reflect on yourself and that's what's come with it too. The reason is I'm going to keep myself busy. I don't have an apartment. I'm in a room. So when I'm home, I'm home. And that's my, my space. Being out the first day I was back at the chemical factory last week, I was talking a lot. It's because, yeah, I've been cooped up for a week. I'm able to control my environment. Like one, one big thing for me is that I'm very sensitive to like bright light and smells. So, you know, at least there, there is that piece where, you know, I, I can control the temperature. I can, you know, go up and get a glass of water. Like it's so easy to just turn off the camera and be like, oops, technical difficulty and like take a break. <laughs> so I never had to interact with the general public while working. Uh, I just had to interact with my coworkers, and my boss. And We were all pretty good. Uh, I felt comfortable at work, even during orange days. Yeah, I love working from home, actually. I'm actually able to work more consecutive hours because I don't have any stress around getting transit, getting lunch, meeting people downtown for a coffee break. The other thing with a sensory environment is that I don't have like people coming by and just wanting to socialize. I think the fact that everything is now accessible and online is a watershed moment for autistic Canadians and uh, disabled and neurodivergent Canadians as well. Because before a lot of companies <laughs> would put their foot down and say, no, we can't have you work from home. It's too much money or whatever. And now we have to change our business model so that you can work from home because of the stay at home orders or the lockdowns. So I think that's a really positive thing. And When the pandemic ends, I think that businesses should still allow people to work from home. It should be their choice and not the businesses. In terms of actual employment opportunities, not a lot has arisen that I've seen out here. What's arisen for me is it's almost as if I've had an easier time talking about uh, my material, my thesis and my research to an audience because, you know, we're kind of a literal captive audience these days? I think for people, especially those who I know who I do the Zoom set with, it's easy to find jobs because a lot of businesses have had to go remote. It's also good to deal with people because when you're working, let's say, remotely, you don't get to see any of your colleagues as much. You don't get to interact with people as much. So here, even though maybe you don't see as many people because a lot of people don't like to sort of move around, they stay mostly in their apartments, you still get to see the residents, you still get to see the workers that work with the residents as well on a daily basis, so at least I'm able to actually see people rather than sitting at your home not seeing anybody. It hasn't been all adverse. Like, I've learned a lot as a result of having access to all this free time to, yes, read books and stuff. 